is a gentle friend in the herbs, herbalist's world. You can identify plantain because it grows in a rosette with all of these leaves coming off from a center location. That center location is often where you'll see a seed spike like this. These are, this is the flower spike that will then turn into a seed. All these little nubbies will be seeds at the end of the season. Kind of like this one. See how that is? You can tell you have plantain, uh, plantain the broadleaf variety or the narrow leaf variety because all of these little ribs, all of the veins that go through the leaf come up from the middle as opposed to one center vein and they, all, a bunch of little veins that come off the side. All of these veins come off from the base from the same place and they usually also, if I pull it you can see all these little hairy fibrous bits. Those veins are pretty thick. They go all the way through the plant and we can use them or we can identify the plant based off of them. So this is the broad leaf variety. This is here by my local wetland and um, narrow leaf. The narrow leaf variety grows lots of places and we definitely want to find some. Either one would work because it's so gentle. This is such a gentle plant. It is a gentle healer. It is a gentle antimicrobial. It is excellent fiber. It pulls out venom from bee stings and um, ant bites and rattlesnake bites. So you definitely want to have a good supply of plantain on hand. We're going to use it for our all-purpose salve today and possibly also in our burn poultice.